Hello there. Today, we're going to look at our Marek Pakinski kit. This is the Junker G87 B2 Stuka. Let's begin. Hello fellow paper modelers. Here we have a Marek kit. Junkers G87 B2. This is reduced from the original size of 133 down to 172. It represents a stuka that was in Libya about July 1941. Here we see the plans. It is in traditional Marek style, simple, sweet, straightforward. Very important that we really focus on what we need to get built, what we need to get done. Study the fuselage, study the plan. It's very important. Just cut up into more manageable pieces what I need to get done and focus on doubling the formers. Those are with the numbers in red. I just simply use another cardstock of same thickness and glue use white glue card glue any paper glue that's not too soluble and it should work quite fine farmers here fuselage farmers after doubling them we we'll cut out the wing ribs. And take your time. I mean, for me doing this, I learn, you know, after a while, you become comfortable with it. But yeah, just have enough patience to cut out each and every one of them and just put them aside in their different group. That way it would work out easier for you when it comes to assembling. Cutting out the fuselage formers. Nice. Those extensions you see, it is for the fixed landing gear that you'll see later. So now we come to the instrument panel. Due to its small size, extreme care should be taken when cutting out the blank pieces. Just use a brand new sharp blade just to make sure to cut it out. And take your time. It's not a race. The time and the effort you spend to just make sure it's done right will pay off dividends when you assemble this model. Okay, so on to the wings. The red that is shown on the plan denotes the formers that we're going to assemble. It's pretty straightforward in how to assemble it. I use any form of cryolite glue, super glue. It's just to hold in place. It's fast, it's quick, it's efficient. It's not as messy and you get to just have overall a quick and easy construction. That's the reason why I use cryolites whenever I am doing my card models. Check your alignment. Check that the ribs are not twisted.
and then put on 27E, which is the rib with the wheel fairing for guidance. And now we get 28B, which would now be the outer rib for the outer wing panel. And we attach it to what I call a wheel rib. So we do both sides and this way we ensure proper alignment, not only of the rib being aligned properly, but just make sure that the angle at which the the wheel pants are on either side, it's pretty much even. Finally, putting in 28A, the wing spars for the outer panel. And cryolite glue, which is now one of my best friends, we have a good wing structure. Outer wings, we're going to cut out that for making sure we have landing lights. inner wing panels so yeah you get another blade and you cut make sure especially when it comes to the panel the surface panel for any model it is what is going to be seen this is what you're going to uh, make or break your model so just make sure you use really really sharp blades and where you can use the scissors, use it. Feel free. There's no rule, hard and fast rule whether to use a scissors or your knife. However, for straight edge, hands down, knife every time. If you like what you have seen so far, please consider subscribing. It will really help out this channel as I would like to present more paper models like this in the future. Thank you. Bending the wing so that you don't leave a crease is an art. You dampen paintbrush or something of small diameter and you fold it over it. And then I took my wife's decorating tool, cake decorating tool, to then use on the edges to form a compound curve. And then I use another thick card stock, mark it out. And this is what I do to strengthen the wings because you don't want your model wing to buckle or warp when you're building. When it comes to doing the Landing lights, I get a piece of mylar. You can use tape, you can use whatever you find. Bit of crazy glue and just add it in there. All your form, your joints for your inner wing panel. I then fold a flat piece of paper
the shaping and the reshaping of the pants leg is very important. Use a different ballpoint end or even the edge of a paintbrush to make the paper curve. Then attachment points are done. Once you have a basic shape that you desire, you can use your quick set glue, cryolite glue to hold it in position. As the glue is drying, you keep molding and of course, paint the edges so that we get rid of that paper-like look in the joints and add a little more realism. Once we get the pants leg construction down, it's now time to join it to the wings. Slide onto the wing struts and cryolite glue into place. Make sure you check the wing alignment and wheel alignment so that you ensure it's not twisted in any way, shape or form. cut the machine gun fairing ports at an angle and my second favorite tool that's readily available is a toothpick just install great Now we're going to study how to install the aileron, the linkages. Start with part number 35. Now I just put marks on each end of the part, flip over and just lightly score it so that when I fold it, it's supposed to produce a proper straight edge. There we go. Now we continue to do the same for parts 33 and 34.
Once we have cut our parts out properly, we get strips, small strips, which we will use as pivot hinge. Just some paper glue to set in position. Just check in the alignment and see that the camouflage pattern are aligned. And once we have it in a decent place, we use cryolite glue to hold it in position. At this scale, we just use tiny strips of paper which we harden using cryolite glue. Locate the areas on the lower half of the wing where the aileron and the flap linkage would be and we just set them in place. Pretty straightforward. My valued viewers, please comment and tell me what you would like to see in the future as I continue to build more models in this scale. Thank you. This is good. Now, next time, we will look at how to do the fuselage. Until then, my friends, stay tuned for part two and happy modeling.